Hi, Code Monkey here. In the last video, we talked about JavaScript classes and how they could be useful in our code. And today I want to talk about how we can take that and extend a class in Phaser, specifically how to extend a sprite class. And when you extend a class, you get to keep all of the wonderful things about that class, but then you get to add in your own stuff. And I get the ideas for these questions of the videos to make from viewers such as yourself who want to know something more about phaser code or coding in general. And if you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it. Just leave a comment below. And I also should tell you that I am working on another Skillshare course and it's just completed. I'll leave a free coupon down below. And in the meantime, let's get on to talking about how to extend a sprite in phaser. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Sometimes just adding a sprite into a game is enough, but sometimes we need to get super organized and make complex classes that extend phaser game objects, such as sprite. For this example, I have a sprite that is a bomb in the middle of the screen, and simply two lines of code here. This load image bomb. And let bomb equals this add sprite, game config width divided by two, a game config height divided by two, which simply puts it in the middle of the screen, and the key of bomb. But if I want to make a class that extends the sprite, I'll make a new file over here called bomb.js. The class is bomb, extends phaser.gameobjects.sprite, and then we need a constructor. And then we have to call the super, the constructor inside what we're extending there, the phaser game object sprite. And in the super, we need to pass a scene. And we also need to pass an X and a Y. But to get those values, we're going to pass those in to our bomb class. And we're going to do it in a single object called config. And then in the super, we can call the scene, config scene. And then we need the X and the Y. And then we need the key. Since we're only going to be using this for bomb, we can go ahead and hardwire that in. If you want, you can pass it in the config object. Maybe you're making a class that does a lot of things, but you need to set a different key, for example. And I'm going to link this bomb class into the index.html now. And one last thing I almost forgot. When you're doing it this way, you need to add the bomb to the scene as an existing object, otherwise it will not show up. So config scene add existing and passing in this. Now back in our scene main, I can comment out this code here and instead say let bomb equals new bomb. And we pass in the scene inside an object. Scene is this. X is 100, Y is 100, just for testing. And let's have a look at that. So that does exactly the same thing. But then we can organize our code better by putting things that just deal with the bomb inside of here. For example, we can say this set interactive and this on pointer down, this click me and this for the scope. And then we can make that function click me and say this alpha minus equals 0.1. So then we can click until the bomb is gone. So let's make more bombs here by using a for statement for i equals zero and let's go to 100. And we'll pick some random coordinates here. So let xx equal phaser math between zero and game config width and y, y equals phaser math between zero and game config height, and then assign the x and the y to the bomb. So a lot of bombs, but only the one that we're clicking actually takes action on it because each one is a separate instance of that bomb. So that's very helpful sometimes when you're building a more complex project and you can keep everything inside that. It also makes it easier to reuse things. Any functions I put in there and then maybe I can use it for a different game by just changing the key. But that is how you extend a sprite in Phaser 3. Extend Phaser Game Object Sprite. 
in the constructor called the super with a scene, an X, a Y, and a key. And then don't forget to add scene add existing this to your class in the constructor. Hope that has been helpful for you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Phaser, including my ebooks, Skillshare, and Udemy courses, and tons of Phaser freebies, go to phasergames.com or click the link below in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.